Hello everybody, Christian from The Coin Dictionary here, and today we're going to be speaking about the 1967 German 10 Pfennig coin, going over all the history that you'd want to know about it, the mintage and design and sort of evolution of this coin over the years. Uh, thanks to our sponsor, MA Shops. MAShops.com is a trusted online marketplace with ancient U.S. and world coins, paper money, and other uh, different collectibles, so great selection. MA-Shops is where you want to go. But in terms of this coin, so it was part of the Federal Republic of Germany, and that's that Bundesrepublik Deutschland, uh, which is emerging after the Third Reich Germans um, get downfall in World War II. Um, so this forms 1949. This type of coin starts in 1950 and goes all the way to 2001 when Germany merges their currency into the euro at a rate, uh, rate of 1.95 Deutsche Marks to one euro. So this would be uh, equivalent to five euro cents if you can exchange it. In Germany, actually, though they demonetize at the end of 2001, you can exchange the coinage um, at banks. So there's still like a base value of six cents or so. Um, the coin weighs four grams. It's brass clad steel. So uh, on the sides, you can sort of see, let's see if it'll zoom in. Um, you know, it's it, but it's like a gray color, whereas this one's pretty worn. But anyways, a little bit smaller than a U.S. quarter. Um, the engraver is Adolf Jaeger for both sides. So here it's going to be two rye ears on the other side of it. It's an oak seedling sort of again showing um, Germany emerging and sort of having a new formation as a country um, post World War II, um, which they take to heart. 1967 though uh, has relatively small mintages. Our mint marks here, there's going to be three or four different ones. There's actually one that's quite rare, uh, but the D is going to be Munich. So that's 15.6 million. F is going to be Stuttgart or 18.05 million. And then J is going to be Hamburg or uh, 16.1 million. But the G mint mark, if you can find a G mint mark, that's going to be about $10. And it's a pretty rare coin. There's only 1.51 million made. And so it is a key date. Um, so take a close look at any of your 1967s. Otherwise, it's probably only going to be worth like, uh, you know, 10 cents, 15 cents or so. Uh, if you've got one in uncirculated condition, um, you could expect a value in the range of like a dollar and 50 cents or two bucks. But what we've got in my hand, this is really just like a, you know, uh, 10, 15 cent coin because they are pretty plentiful as long as it doesn't have that 1967G mint mark. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian, and I own The Coin Dictionary, and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com, and on Instagram, at thecoindictionary. And I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, as well as some resources like coinmeltprice.com, which shows up-to-date Precious Metals Pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own. CoinsMetalsCards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a news source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests. As well as What'sTheGrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.